Hi, this is John Hillbrands with TheInfoSheets.com. Today I'm going to show you a customer-related database that I've created. And the idea here is to create a, uh, a, an ability to have a service-based type business, have all of their customers listed, but not have them duplicate for each job. So you can have a single customer with multiple jobs, and each job can have an unlimited level of detail. So a not a lot of lines. Some of the advanced features of this database includes the invoicing function, um, and then also the ability to click it to map so that you will be able to locate your customers easier. And I'm also going to show you in this video, and this might apply to some other people that are having some design issues, is how to make it a runtime version and how to make it uh, multiple user accessible by putting it on a network-based drive and then have them all update the same records. So let's first show you how to make it a runtime. This is how it's downloaded if you use Google Checkout from my website. And basically we're just going to copy that folder, that file, and we're going to paste it. And the way um, uh, the database works is that simply as a runtime it needs to have an extension of an ACCDR instead of DB. So basically that makes Microsoft Access open it under, under runtime. So let's show you the first button here, and that's the click to map function. And essentially it's going to pull a Visual Basic uh, command that is going to add the address that's from the form into the search field of Google Maps. So when you bring up, uh, so it'll bring it up as soon as you click that. And that's good if you want to check the address that it's a real address. The next, of course, is the duplicate um, uh, customer button. And that uh, basically is going to just duplicate the customer and their address. And let's show you the delete now so that we can show you how it's deleted. And now um, the search, if we are positioned somewhere like in the last name and hit search, it's going to search for the, the default is under last name, but we can change it to search the entire customer database. So we can see that we found Brown in the last name. And we also found it in the first name. That might be a reason to search the entire database instead of just the last name. You can also position it in zip code or phone number if you want to search by those fields. We have moved to the beginning of all records. Uh, move one towards the beginning, move one towards the end, move all the way to the end. We have print, and then we have our two types of reports. One is the expanded, and as you can see, this particular invoice has nothing under expanded, so it won't print, uh, won't show you anything in the expanded, but it does have it all on the top line, so we'll use the standard invoice. And this is a view of that particular invoice as it is. Let's check off a couple of paid uh, um, mowing services. And now let's hit invoice, and you can see that we only have the one, the one invoice still printing, or the one line of the job printing. If we wanted to change that data, and this is a mowing service, so we might call it uh, Joe's Mowing, and we'll just close that, and now let's create the invoice, and we can see that it's created Joe's Mowing here, and you could have also changed the address field as well. Now um, let's move to a customer that has, or a uh, customer that has some detail that they owe us on. Yeah, that one has some detail. So let's create an invoice in the expanded. And Joe's mowing, I guess, also does plumbing because they owe a lot of plumbing, and they also do carpet repair, evidently. So they owe Joe's mowing quite a bit of money here. And that basically totaled all of their uh, individual jobs. This is the individual job and each um, lower expanded level entry. And uh, so it had two different jobs that they owe for. And I believe I've shown you everything on here. There is another feature, and let's just do um, let's just do a uh, duplicate record here. To show you um, to show you that you might want to sort a, sort this form by any particular field, and I duplicate it so we'd have 
two Joe Browns, but as you can see, they're not in alphabetical order. So as we moved through our, our customers, we're not going to have Joe Brown, Joe Brown. We're actually separated. But if I were to sort by last name, A to Z, we're going to have we're going to have the Joe Browns in order. See how they were in order this time. And that might be good if you were trying to sort by an, a different field. Let's actually shrink that a little lower. Okay, so, and then of course as you add new jobs, you can continually add new jobs. Let's actually go to where we can see those. see how many jobs we can just keep going on and on forever if we wanted to. I did that just before I'm closing this so I can choose to not save any of those changes. So let me finally show you how to save this into a database where we um, uh, we want to uh, we want to have this on can't do two things at once where we want to have this on a network drive. Maybe we want to put this on the boss's computer and then have everyone access and update the boss's computer. To do that, we don't want to have a lot of individual databases out there. We want all of the tables to link to one. So uh, let's copy this and paste it on the boss's computer. And now we're going to, we have to do this in the full version. So essentially we're going to close our form there and we're going to delete out of all of our tables. And it'll also delete everything else along with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to link to that and of course when we when we link to those tables all of their table references will come with it and as long as they have the same name our forms will work as well. So let's browse to where our boss's computer is. His computer happens to be on my desktop. It could also be a server system. Okay, so now they're all linked tables and they'll still essentially work the same as before. But now when we, um, now when we add a new record, Um, it, it, now op it now updates the boss's computer and not its own particular file. So there's green, our new record that we just entered from our remote uh, computer uh, system. So that's basically it. We've created a very nice related database. Um, if you would like to download this file, it's available from my website, theinfosheets.com, for $25. And hopefully it will give you a good head start onto yours and of course save you some money as in uh, be able to make a computer system a database that will work better for your company. Thank you. This is John Hillbrands with TheInfoSheets.com.